Hey guys, what's up? Uh, yesterday I forgot to post the, not to post, I forgot to record the uh, breaker pattern recognition video. So yesterday, uh, when I made the market maker model video, or just let me reference it as, when I made the market maker model video, remember price on gold was around here. Yeah. And I said, okay, you know what? Since it's way too slow, we can see price popping up and then only we can come down because a new model has started, right? So what happened was, and this buy was easy. So this was the high, this was the low. One side was broken out of, and then we shifted. So this guy was the target, okay? So I'm gonna mute myself, observe, try to remember, and then we'll continue with the entry, all right? Hi right, guys, sorry about that. So that was the market maker model for yesterday. So that would be uh, Tuesday, 2nd of May. All right. So what would be the entry? Okay. So here, this is weekly uh, Malaysian support. As you, as some of you guys know, I am um, heading into that route as well. Uh, weekly means that price is going to go jump into a weekly support. So if it's reacting from a weekly, it's going to go to a weekly resistance. Okay. That would be all the way up here. And we actually broke that on um, the daily because it's a daily so a resistance as well. We broke that. So I want to see if we have any room to downside before we go back up. This is a risky trade because it's not the New York session. All right. So that's just me practicing. All right. So here, if we take a look at the five minute chart. So when we look at the, uh, again, gold right here. Okay. When we look at the five minute chart, uh, we are directly looking at the delivery of the four hour of the four hour candle when we look at the one hour chart we're directly looking at the one minute candle okay <laughs> sorry when we look at the one minute chart we are directly looking at the one hour candle so that's how we gauge the delivery that's how we get in sync with higher time frame moves now on the five minute chart if we use the same knowledge if you use the same application now right now of the breaker uh you can see that here we had a sub run yeah, and we had this high right there. So this high was broken, yeah. What is the breaker? The breaker is gonna be this one up until that wick, okay? Why? It's gonna be from this wick to that up close, the up close is high, because a wick, right? So hold up, my mouse is glitching, why is that? Okay, so when we have a wick, right? That's downside delivery, this is upside delivery. So on the right side, that's a bullish candle. So this wick plus this up close candle, they are consecutive up close candles. And therefore, that is a bullish break. You can buy over there and price is going up. Okay. Now, as it goes higher, can you see now we had this whole fair value gap that we sold off from, right? That means when price closes through it, we are now looking for longs. You can look for longs here. You can, look, you can easily look for longs over here. So that's like adding adding breaker logic to old gaps. Okay, so that's you're going to reaccumulate from here. And this is directly in line with the market maker model as well. Where price is going to do what? We have a low, we have a high, price went down. And now we are shifting breaker, old redistribution, buy side. Okay, so we have this long over here. Now heading into the uh, NY session, heading into the NY session, is there anything else that I can use? So on this chart, on the five minute chart, this, these two over here are, were the only indications that price is gonna go up. So the four hour candle is gonna print bullish. Okay, 
So the next four hour candle, so the four hour candle responsible for the latter half of the NY session, which is uh, nine o'clock onwards here. So nine o'clock is right here. So if you put a line on the nine o'clock opening price, right there, okay, from here, find your breakup. Okay, fine, let's find the breakup, whether it's there or not, let's see. Okay, on this chart, we can't see anything. So I don't have a setup, zero. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll head to the 15 and worst possible scenario, let's head to the one minute, all right? Okay, on the 15 minute chart, we don't have any, anything at all that will help us out. Okay, one minute chart. So you are understanding that this is a start of four hour delivery. You are understanding, I mean, you would not understand it because of this support thing. I'm mean, some of you would, some of you wouldn't, uh, that we are gonna go up the draw liquidity to the upside. So from here, if you try and understand, if you try and see where the breaker is, you can't find it. You don't have one. You don't have one. Sim simply put, we don't have one. Okay. Instead, what we have is this. Familiar? The recent uh, teaching? What do we have? We have signature like this. Close above this candle, making that candle a mitigation block. Ah, you can buy the mitigation block and poof, up it went. Yeah. Same thing here, mitigation block, mitigates it, up it went. All right, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So that is the breaker pattern recognition for today, actually for yesterday. This is the breaker. We used it. Okay. You have to now. If I go to the five minute chart again, right? I know some of you are like, bro, bro, bro. How do I know whether it will react from here? How do I know whether it will react from here? How do I know whether it will react from here? Ah, uh, good question. Good, good question, right? When we are looking at this as a breaker, now, so, so when we when we look at this as a breaker, uh, can you see how we have all of this internal liquidity, right? So before we before we created that breaker, right? We formed this low. And up inducement, inducement. Okay, it induced these lows, and up it went. How do I know now whether there's going to be inducement or not? Right. Okay. Can you see the only uh, the only factor in price over here that will allow price to come down here is this gap. You see, yes, price did not close through it. In in, in fact, we. We went up, rejected, came down, and this even this guy did not close through this, right? But still, but still, when we validated the breaker, this is now an old area of redistribution that you can reaccumulate from. So you're gonna take a chance and you're gonna buy from here, not up over there, down over here. Okay, so you can couple old reaccumulation redistribution with breakers to uh, really pinpoint your entry. Okay, with that said, have a good one, guys. Good luck and good trading. Bye-bye.